We never turn to let's play Conan Exiles. Alright. So I'm back at the camp. Let's see here. I was holding this up. Alright, this the thick leather. Okay. Um change of plans then. Let's do what I, what I actually want to do is go over and start the sorcery. That's sort of the whole reason I actually started playing this. So let's look for the better weapon. Let's go ahead and grab that axe. We'll also grab a pickaxe, because why not? Um, now actually, the fact that I have some of these ancient weapons already unlocked... What's this going to take? Level 45, okay. Not quite there. I mean, I could go kill some stuff, but... Let's worry about this first. I need just regular leather. Right. So the pickaxe will open up a slot for me. And I will not have to... have both an axe and a pick. That'll be nice. Go ahead and swap out that for the better weapon. I'll just leave this stuff here for now. Um, to that end... Let's also grab... Actually, you know what I want to do? Let's look at... Not that. I, I probably should put points into something, actually. Uh, did I already grab it? I guess I already grabbed it. So the torturer's work table. Um, I bet you that's gonna be this thing. Smithing? Tanner's table. Okay, I could actually use that. Let's um, come up here and grab that real quick. This just breaks things down. Um, putting a tanner into it uh, does nothing. Perhaps at higher levels, but at level one doesn't do much. Um, okay, that's not what I was really opening that up for. I was opening up for. Companions, maybe? There it is. Oh. That's say I needed uh, five shaped wood. Okay. And a couple steel. And some twine, right? So some steel here. Alrighty, so... We will go over to that cave, but whilst we're going that way, we can also maybe attempt to... Uh, see, that's just iron. Okay. Uh, iron, leather, leather, okay. Uh, also attempt to get the... Um, uh, what am I talking about? The special guy over there. The, uh, particular hero. And that. Which will be good improvements on those. Let's just go ahead and put these back. Um, okay. Drop off the other shit that I've still got in here. Uh, sticks don't go. Sticks are no good for making anything with it. Um, that drops off there. Twine in there. Okay, I'll be bringing 
that, so that'll be good. I guess I can bring that too. Um, okay, that'll probably be good. We're, we are going to go up against the turtles here. Alright. Let's go. Before I do. Yep, I always forget to reset that when I'm off on a killing spree. We are now, actually, uh, to level 17. So let's unlock a few more things here. So I now have a new war paint available. Uh, more coins. We have a new decorative shelf, which uh, I can put in the new place. And then more potions that are one-time use only, so I won't be claiming those because I don't need them. Um, all right. Let me get that on my hot bar there. Right, I was also going to... Uh, well, let's go find a safe spot. I was also going to uh, put some points into my attributes. And remind me, but I will want to grab a hyena pup at some point so that I can build a taming facility and uh, finally work my way to get the hyena's companions. This one is being persistent. They are both being persistent. Finally gone? They're finally off me. Alright. Uh, this croc might aggro. Yeah, I mean, I can just get into here, so. Bypass that a little bit. If I'm lucky, this guy is. He's activated already. Let's go in here and help this fool. Stay back. Okay, I think he's got it. I think he's got it. Okay, Arnos, come on. Yeah, I'm not doing anything to him. So either they made these guys a lot more difficult to get, or uh, I'm just... I, I'm not strong enough with the the blunt weaponry. He's, he's already at half health. There's no way I'm going to be able to... Damn. Okay, well, uh, we've got torn parchment. Let's just take it all. Why not? I can drop that, though. What's the torn parchment say? Nowhere is safe. Nowhere. The drums come every night now, a rhythmic pounding that raises terror in every heartbeat. The Darfari are hunting, and men are their quarry. I used to hear their drums out in the desert groves beyond Zambula, and in that life, I simply thanked the gods that I had wealth and shelter. But see me now, crouched among the boulders, filthy, ragged, and half-starved. My days are a constant scramble for food and water, and my nights are spent huddled in whatever shelter I can find. Soon I will drift off to the half-sleep of the terrified, to dreams of filed teeth and wicked cudgels, and the haunting beating of those God's cursed drums. Somehow I don't feel like Arnos would be uh, a weakling, so I think it just randomly showed up on him. Those notes do occasionally show up on on people that you kill. Drink some water. Not avoiding the aggro. And toward some waterfalls. And a crocodile. And I think we're also running right into a camp. Hello, goodbye. Duck and weave. Nope, they're following. <laughs> you know, companions, though. Perhaps. Uh, except there's a crocodile coming up right behind that guy, so... We'll just, uh... Leave them to their fate there.
Now, I'm not sure exactly where that cliff is. A cave. Right. I think we're good here. Oh, we still got a ways to go yet. That's all right. We will go through more danger. More camps. Take that one down there. Hmm. Not close enough for it to tell me who they are. One's an archer, though. Well, let's see if I can take them all. Maybe. If they can find a way up to me. Their pathing might not allow them to. Oh, good. Two of them are gone. Haha. <laughs> Ah, oh, we didn't get him. Breaking through my shield here, too. There, got one of them. What the? And of course, I do not have healing items. Yeah, the guy's... clubs? Clubs are not blockable. You, you cannot stop them when they do their purple attack. They will you. blow through everything. You the wrong fight. I think I'm kind of... I don't need you, you <laughs> actually. The wrong fight. I'm kind of done with you, Carpenter. Ah. Fuck. Nope. There goes that one. I don't need those arrows. Uh, that can't catch light. Um, there we go. Those don't heal much. That's not what I wanted. Damn it. Oh, and I bet I don't have the things anymore to make this. Came at this pretty unprepared, unfortunately. Yeah, because I need iron, and I have no iron. Okay, well. What does he have? Same thing? Yeah. Same note. Oh, damn. I hate that. I, I hate that you can't just carry a uh, 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 construction now. Because I could just have a Wheel of Pain in my inventory, and it'd be fine. Except now it breaks down to its components, so now I'm carrying around the damn components. Hello. Yeah, it might have been a mistake. That water, I don't believe, is deep enough to survive. can't climb, so... Well, I mean, I, I, I would survive. Not take damage is what I meant. Uh, they are busy over there. Against spiders. You know what? Let's go ahead and unlock this area. Um, you're coming into an arachnophobic area. <laughs> the spiders and crocodiles are having a fight. They all ate those people. Okay. But there is a cave up here. I'm not going to go down there, because at the end of this is a demon spider that I don't think I can take. Because it's, uh, it's one of those legendary creatures. There would be a good item in there. And I'm not sure if it's that cave or another spider cave, but there is a cultist to uh, 
a spider god. Alright, we'll cross over here. Um, and that is where, where he is at, so... You know what, we're down here. Let's just do it. Um, Darfari village up here. Oh yeah, this axe is way better. So we'll go up into this village. Maybe, if I'm lucky and don't trigger everybody, we'll be able to uh, take some of them. Not that it's going to help unless they have iron in a chest or something. Out with this guy, apparently. Perfect. Boy. Oh, really? Okay. That one popped his head. All right, what do we have here? Another glass vial. Okay. All right. As long as I don't get surrounded, uh, I'll be fine. I don't have any armor with me. If we do manage to take some of them, even one of them. All right. Come on. Come in, or there she is. Yeah, I'm not a. I'm not afraid of them. I just want to get surrounded. Come on, you bastard! So there's at least two there, and I know there's some up that way. Four. There's a bearer over there. And there's one down there. Okay. Alright. Now there might still be some up there. Might still be a chance to uh, kill somebody for profit, or uh, beat them to submission. Green dye. I don't need the green, you guys. Green is hard to see. Oh, okay. Wait, wait. I think I need five iron. So that's not going to do well for me there. Oh, there's uh, there's an archer potentially. Let's let's, let's grab this one. Uh, nothing that I need there. Come on, you bastard. Oh, you were the last one. So I will take you, in case. He just he accepts it, okay. In case I can find some iron around here. Another hit to Yog. That's a, that's a no. Let me look at this real quick. Uh, yeah, five iron. Well, I came unprepared. That's too bad. Nothing really worth taking. And it just looks unusual sometimes when there's unusual things, much like we saw over in uh, the dregs. Uh, you can click on it and it'll teach you things. Not the case here, though. 
that is where we're going. It's, uh... He's gone. That is something I have noticed, actually. Um, there is a lot more of a of a, a despawning and uh, respawning. Okay, I guess we have to cross over there. Um, than than I'm used to, and I don't know why that is. But if you're not looking, they will disappear. So I guess I should have. Oh, oh it looked like someone was sticking out of the ground there. Okay, well, whatever. I honestly do not know how well I'm going to fare against the zombie turtles that are going to be in this place. So far the axe seems to be pretty good, but at the same time, these guys are kind of tough. I think they're much tougher than normal turtles. So, before I go in there, you know, I guess I have to find my way up. What is with this funky formation? Uh, let's go to attributes. Five points would get me maxed out here. Crushing swings your heavy attacks stagger for 25% longer and no longer rebound off shields. Ooh, a shield breaker. Blood Mad Berserker. When below 25% health, you cannot be staggered or knocked down. Your damage is increased by an additional 10% and your armor is increased by 50. I don't intend to be that beneath health. I don't, I don't hope... I won't have that issue. Um, so let's go for crushing swings here. All right, and that's maxed out. Maxed out strength. Perfect. Let's prepare ourselves a little here. Get some of that. Uh, I'm not going to open that just yet because it'll provide me with 500 something units that'll weigh me down a lot. Uh, it might be good actually to put down. Yeah, let's go ahead and put this down. Put down a little uh, save spot here for myself. Let's hope I remember it's there to take it with me. Sounded something a little creepy there. But the of course, we're entering into nighttime. Shellback Hollow. Come on. Come on. Ooh, yeah. And we're gaining corruption. Come on, you bastard. He's stuck. Really? So what corruption does, we'll start to see it, it will start to uh, fill up my health and stamina bars, and basically it shortens them, and it is permanent until you can find a way to remove it, just by dancing, but not by me. Ooh, okay. Um, now I remember what else I want on my hotbar. They are stuck. This is perfect. Oh, bastards, come on. So if I can pull them to the entrance, get them stuck, and then smash them with that... Shit. Turn that on, please. does not appear to affect them. Because they're undead. Whoops. God, 
The nights drop really fast around here. And of course, I've just uh, locked myself in there. Yeah, I don't know about this. Maybe if I could get it to the edge here, and then I could just uh, whack it like I did the last one. Assume this one is alone down here. Oh, I got him. We'll cheese this one too. Obviously, I will not be able to do this forever. be able to get through this with my shield on, but then you guys won't be able to see anything. So, there may be a boss zombie turtle down here, and if those are as tough as the regular ones are, I'm not so sure about my chances here. But this cave seems to have been changed. Uh -huh. Is that? It's a rock. Oh, oh boy. I bet you I don't want to accidentally fall down that. Something I can pick up. Oh, there's gonna be something. There's gonna be something. I learned. The Tome of Kurak. It'd be nice if it would say, hey, you know, press E. Nope, this didn't, uh... This didn't activate. Hmm. Alright. I was kind of expecting there to be, like, a sorcerer guy or something. I guess not. I am very curious if I can make my way over there. We may have to return sometime. I almost ran right off the edge. I mean, I could crawl my way back out, I'm sure. But, uh, another time. <laughs> I'll risk that another time. Put that on so we can see. And now we can perhaps get ourselves into uh, a little 
bit of sorcery. Um, I'm gonna, let's see. Demon blood, putrid meat, and bone, brimstone. Okay, you know what? Uh, let's try... Where the hell did I put it? My cleaver. Demonic shale back head. Hooray, we can make a trophy out of that. Good, good. Alright. Here comes the dawn. So now, what I'll be looking for, let me find my way up to a vantage point. Stay out of the way here. Now, uh, I'll be looking for a, uh, a dancer. The Tome of Kurak. This tome can be expanded with additional arcane knowledge. When I first gazed into the black void and that darker than dark shape gazed back, I knew nothing would be the same. My mind raced to organize the knowledge taking shape in the empty vessel that was my head. I could see the corruption of the eldritch world as plain as daylight, and gained sudden insight into how I might shape that eldritch power, at first into a staff, and then a bench to change the elements surrounding me. I was on my ba my way back I was on my way to breaking barriers, and nothing could hold me back. This tome describes basic sorcery, including the recently acquired spells Reveal Corruption, Ice Bridge, and contains the knowledge necessary to construct an arcane staff, thaumaturgy bench, and reagent pouches. Um... Okay. Maybe I have to have... Um, okay. Basic sorcery. One-handed staff to focus casting spells. Okay, so I guess I have to have that then. Alright, cool. Well. Um, yeah, like I said, we need to find a dancer. Where was a dancer? Back here, actually. So, there might be others, randomly. Just, I'm trying to think. Um, there were dancers. There were dancers in here, in Sinner's Refuge. You know what? Those might be easier. Uh, jeez. We're right here near the Tower of the Bats. I kind of want to take. Uh, I just I saw I had light corruption up here. I saw I I, I wanted to, to take sorcery. Uh, I wanted to to get some people and. Um, man, I'm, I'm going through food fast. Um, you know, level up a little bit before taking on that bat, because I honestly don't think I can. But if I go around here, we can come through another Darfari base. Okay, let's go do that. We'll go the long way around. The long and dangerous way. Oh yeah, I need to pick up my bed, too. Thanks for reminding me. And potentially... Oh, we're going through the village again, aren't we? We have to. Well, I can run... I can run through it. I can run... by these people. Or I can just climb the rocks. There's that option, too. An alternative to finding a dancer is just going to the city over here, which uh, I could do preemptively, I suppose. That would actually allow me to get... Oh boy. Cutting through... Cutting through the Forbidden City right now? If I went over there, though, I would be able to get steel, I'd be able to get leather. That is the top of the bats. Uh, how far are we from... Oh, we're ways away. And if I want to learn... Yeah, both the other religions are pretty far away, actually. Uh, well, there's a priest up there. It's not... Alright. I don't think this is going to be terrible. It's not really any different than uh, the turtles. 
got rock noses, and I made it bleed. Hooray. We'll look at that stuff later when we're safe. I'm just going to run. These guys are going to ambush me and cause all kinds of problems. And I'm just going to have to hope I have enough stamina to make it through this little valley, this little gully, and outrun them. Surprisingly slow. Yeah, we're just gonna keep going. Avoid the gigantic scorpion over there, who is another legendary creature. I'm about to run out of stamina. Is there two, or just a one? Okay, good. Whew, yeah. So the approach uh, to the bat would be through there and by that scorpion. Um, there's a nice flat spot up here I thought about building for the castle, but uh, it's kind of away from a lot of resources. And here we have a Darfari camp. And the only thing that makes this valuable at all is because... It is another destination from Rosma's journey. But, I guess, also another... Damn it. Another opportunity. Well, let's get this one coming my way, then. Come, Shadow. Another opportunity to shot. potentially find some iron. Green die, okay. Corner of Bones. No iron. All right, well, so much for making another I mean, there's there's places all over to get thralls, so won't worry too much about it. If anything, we'll just go back into that cave, the sinner's refuge. Oh boy, and uh, go from there. And apparently, my armor is much heavier because. Um, my, my roll speed is awful. I'll take one of those, why not? One piece of iron. Or colors, cool. Taking that. I, I don't really need them now, actually. Because I already have some back home. I was thinking if I just got some uh, here. My father told me that there is something to be learned from all the peoples of the world. I do not yet know what these Darfari will teach me. I was captured as I moved north from the river. They clubbed me senseless and dragged me back to their camp, thrusting me into a woven cage full of prisoners. They've been dragging us out, one by one, to their sacrifice pits. The screams of the victims fill the air, and the scent... My mouth waters, and I hate myself. I've seen the bloody sacrifices that Set requires, and the corpulent orgies of Derketo. But these brutes with filed teeth and blood running down their chins. I don't like this darkness. It makes my skin crawl. Some of the other prisoners here are from further north. 
One of them claims to be a Stygian bounty hunter who came here chasing treasure. He says there is a whole city of them in the north. And in the cage beside us is a woman who is dressed like a pirate. Does that mean we are somewhere near the ocean? I need answers. I've been so busy running, surviving. There's a loose branch on the weaving of this cage. My Stygian friend and I are working it slowly free, and then we will vanish into the night. I realize now that I have been foolish to avoid others. If I am to escape these exiled lands, I need to find people who know what the stakes are. I need other people. Lesson learned. Over here. Okay, that's more than enough of those ladybugs. Um, let's also take some dry wood here. Okay, and too much. Let's drop, I mean, I could actually probably drop a bunch of the decayed meat here. Putrid meat. What was I missing? Oh yeah, bones. Bones for bone meal. Honestly, I, I can't see a use for farming in this game. Like, you, you can just, you know, hunt down any animal for food. And the growing of crops does nothing, really. You know, I mean, I, I guess if... If you're collecting a bunch of material for, like, dyes and that sort of thing, then it might make sense to grow your own at home. But, like, everything in the game is just so abundant that I, I just don't know why... Am I making noise? Never noticed that before. Um, you know, th there's just so much stuff, you would never, you'd never need it. We do have to find ourselves a dancer. Fortunately, there's always those two, as I said, that spawn, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's do all that. This is going to be way, way more than I will ever need in here. All right, I was going to do another thing. Um, let me make about ten potions of freedom here. And that will start earning me zeal, and I will get 25 brick, wood, and reinforcement. Okay. We can, uh, obeisance to... Oh! It just gave me... It just gave me a, f a... a staff. Okay. I didn't notice that before. Um, we'll play with that here in a minute. Let me put that in there. Put that in there. Put that in there. And upgrade... That's not enough. <laughs> Shoot. Upgrade to Derketo's Pleasure Dome. Enough has been sacrificed in her name. Okay, we'll let that go for a moment. Alright, let's grab the arcane staff and see how this works. Special attack, attack. Part the veil of time and space to glimpse the past, present, and future. Shape the raw forces of nature and reality itself. Shug. Summon a frozen bridge to traverse a gap. We will uh, not do that for a minute. Uh, where's a gap? Oh, hey. And uh, Derketo's thing is already expanded. Cool. So now I could actually get myself alkalite, acolyte stuff. Um, where did I put that? First of all, let's grab that extra thing. Um, 
I've got... There it is. That. If I made silk, let's just make it all here. It makes it pretty rapidly, but, you know, it still takes forever. But, uh, yeah, whatever. Half of it. And then half again. There. That's enough. Anyway, uh, their Diketo clothing doesn't do anything? Although now that they've changed some of the stats and stuff. Yeah, it's just, it's light armor, so it doesn't do anything other than look pretty, but, uh, and I don't have that upgradable yet. I can now transmute, I can transmute vines. I had a bunch of vines. I can make bread out of that. Um, I mean, I guess. Uh, stamina plus 21. Not bad. Let's, uh, let's take some of those. Yeah, let me grab some of the vines and we'll, we'll see what that bread is like. Uh, here. here. Oh yeah, I said I was going to take these and uh, finish up the old base. Or the new base, rather. Red. Anything special about it? She gave into his hands a wooden dish heaped with dried fruits, cheese, and barley bread, and a great pot of heady upland beer, brewed from the barley grown in the high valleys. Bread takes on many forms, baked from various mixtures of dough and water. On the climb from savagery, bread tends to come at the dawn of agriculture. Alright, I mean, it's probably just regular bread then. Um, the various gods have different things. Uh, well, like for here, for example, I could actually turn this into uh, what looks to be fertilizer. Compost, yes, which I can now put into here. Oh, it's al it's already right, this makes makes compost with bone meal. Where did I get all that bone from? Oh, the zombie turtles, most likely, and that makes it into into compost. So actually, if I take it, it will make. Nope, I don't have any seeds. Okay, so this one. It will slowly turn the seeds into aloe. But yeah, like, I could just run over there and pick both aloe and lotus, and I can just dip in the water for this. So, like, why am I growing it, you know? It's just there, I guess. Uh, what else am I doing? Right, um, I wanted to check this thing out. Let's see how far the ice bridge goes. Shoo! Um, does it... Hmm. Okay. I mean, that's kind of cool. Oh, it creates a, an arch. That's cool. Okay. Well, that's probably as far as it goes. I was wondering if it if it was pointed where my cursor was, why it was going down, but I don't think so. I think it just makes a natural arch. So, I'm just going to have to memorize the distance on that one so I don't overshoot. But that's cool. Um, I'm going to have to learn how to make burlap pouches here. All right. Next thing's next. See, light corruption is coming because I'm using sorcery. Part the veil of time and space. Lega. Reveal nearby corrupted objects and those with arcane corruption. I don't think it's going to show me anything. It doesn't seem to indicate that it uses one of my bags, so let's try it. Fish to tap yog. Yeah, definitely nothing. Oh, what, uh... If I remember from the trailer, you can use this to find secret stuff. I'm gonna have to look at that again and find out exactly what this does. I think that's what it's for, though. It's just a stabbing weapon now. 
It's not making this thing go away. Oh. Okay. Uh, what else did it give me? Oh. Wait a minute. Reagent pouch dropped by a sorcerer. Burlap pouch. After the tome, the sorcerer's reagent pouch is perhaps the next most important tool. Careful, carefully curt... A carefully curated assembly of arcane reagents necessary for casting spells. So, what does that do, then? I can't open it. Speaking of open, let's find out what's in this supply drop. A bunch of ironstone. Okay, well, uh, now it's a little bit heavy for me. Let's go ahead and drop that and make some more. Cool. Uh, the bone is also apparently an issue. Uh, okay, okay. Um, let's find out. We swap in these damn tools all the damn time. Uh, did I... I don't know if I unlocked it yet. Let's find out if I can make a grinder, and then I can grind this up for bone meal. Like that. And that would be in general? General. Brick. Yeah, let's not, let's not do that. Take, put that away. Uh, let's do five... And, uh, who gets it? Where's it going to go? Well, I'll take it with me. So let's just put it out here for now by my cooking area. Because that's actually what it does. It's not just for, for this. It's also for uh, making, like, salt from rocks and pepper from seeds. So we just, well, I, that's, that's a lot of bone. So let's drop in, uh, like, a hundred quickly make that. It's actually making quite a bit more. Okay. And now let's see, I can also, supposedly, somehow, I must have to up my corruption somehow. And then I can start putting it into my attributes and corrupt my attributes. Sorcery. Okay, so these are just my natural things. Um, I'm willing to bet I probably have to do like that. So, crafted it with the construction hammer. Alchemy? No. Religion. Sorcery. Five crystal. Okay. Well, tell you what. Uh, we'll, we'll build my little alchemical place in the new area over there. Um, so I will gather things up as I have them. Should I use that already? I'm trying to just learn from here. Yeah. It well. All right. I'm just going to use it to learn, because um, I could use it to 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 get myself, you know, some uh, offerings. But like, it's so easy to to get offerings, and and you don't need that much to upgrade the next. So, uh, well, I don't because I've set everything down to 10% requirements. Uh, Precepts of Mitra. Precepts of Mitra are simple when compared to the myriad of other cults and religions that dominate the Hyborian Age. The simple document contains all that one needs to become a worshipper of the gentle god. The fact that it must be read, however, is a testament to the subtlety of the Mitra cult, for it ensures that only those who are intelligent enough to read will naturally join the religion, and those who cannot will be guided by one who can. The scroll will unlock the Mitra religion. Now, uh, for the character I'm playing, especially a sorcerer, uh, Mitra is like antithetical to everything that uh, my character holds dear. Like, if anything, the pantheon of uh, Set and uh, Derketo are compatible, and role-playing-wise, this character is a Kushite, and uh, Kush, uh, in areas, worships both Set and Derketo. Um, Yogg, maybe, because he's a sorcerer, and Yogg is a, an old god of the Outer Realms. Zath, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, Mitra is not the god for me, and uh, will probably strike me dead, but we'll use this anyway. To learn Acolyte of Mitra. And so now I can actually make the uh, temple. But, more importantly, did I earn any religious prayers? I don't think I did. Yeah. Damn it. I'm still trying to learn something. Derketo doesn't come with any, unfortunately. But uh, anyway, yeah. So we will uh, we'll, we'll move to 
to the other place so I can set up a new alchemist bench, um, all the, the creepy crawly stuff, the, the thaumaturgy bench, we'll get sorcery in, and then uh, we'll continue on with some of this stuff from the journey. Oh, I got ahead of myself there, but where was uh, making an enemy bleed? You watch with satisfaction as the enemy drips blood on the sand. Sadistic? Yes. Then again, they never should have tried to kill you. You store your knowledge of enemy anatomy for future battles. All right. So, I'm still looking for that. Finding some war paint that I don't have to make myself. Yeah, and then we gotta go to the bats. So, next episode, I guess, uh, we'll move over there, find some more people, go do the Tower of the Bats, and uh, see what I can do. Actually, yeah. The, the sorcery will make that a lot easier to get to the Tower of the Bats now. I wonder if it covers that gap. I guess we'll see. Okay, on this one here. I'll see you next time.